Welcome back. I mentioned before that we will be using input-output analysis a fair bit in this course. So this week we will have a closer look at what this actually is and how we can use it. It might surprise you to hear that input-output analysis was originally developed as an economic tool. This is because the technique is based on the financial transactions within an economy. Basically, an input-output table records the amount of money that is exchanged between companies, households and governments in one year. This is really useful information because it tells you about the structure and the size of an economy. For example, you can use it to calculate the gross domestic product or GDP, which is the main indicator for economic performance. But, and this is where sustainability comes in, you can also add environmental data to an input-output table and then use it to work out which industry is creating what kind of pollution and using what type of resources to produce all the products that we consume. That means we can use this technique to do a life cycle assessment of all the goods and services in a country, which is a very useful thing indeed. Input-output analysis was introduced by someone called Vasily Leontiev already in the 1930s. Can you imagine? That's a long time ago. In 1973, Leontiev received the Nobel Prize in Economics for his work on input-output analysis. He first used it for economic analysis and then from the 1970s increasingly for energy and environmental analysis. And basically this is what we still do to the present day. Now with very sophisticated global models that cover practically every country in the world. I really hope you enjoy learning about this technique. Later on in the course you will also learn how to program in MATLAB and conduct input-output analysis using your own MATLAB script. So please enjoy the journey. Thank you.